In this video, we're going to talk about telling time on an analog clock. This is different from a digital clock in that you have to read the hands that are shown. So when we're talking about an analog clock, the hour hand is the shorter of the two hands on the clock. The minute hand is the longer one. And when we're talking about time in hours, there are 60 minutes in one hour. Each of the numbers around the clock is a five minute time span. So let's take a look at some clocks and look at how we can tell the time on them. In our first clock here, the blue hand is the shorter hand. So this tells me the hour. The longer hand, which is the black one, tells me the number of minutes. So usually the minutes are a little bit easier to read. So if we look at it, our minute hand is pointing at the two. Now remember, every number on the clock stands for five minutes. We start here at the 12 and we're gonna count around by fives. Five, 10. So right now we're at 10 minutes after the start of the hour. Now what hour are we looking at? Well, if we go back to our hour hand, you'll notice that it's pointing right at the three. So right now, it's gonna be three o'clock. Plus those extra 10 minutes means the current time is three, 10. Let's take a look at the second clock. Again, the long hand is the minutes and that's our black hand. The shorter hand is the blue one and that's the hour. Now for the minutes on this one, we're pointing right at the eight. So we're gonna count around by five minute increments. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we're at the 40 minute mark. What hour are we at? Well, if we look at our hour hand, now the hour hand is between two numbers. It's between 11 and 12. Since it's not on the 12 yet, it's not quite 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna look at the lower of the two hours. So I'm gonna pick the 11. So it's 11.40 on this clock. Let's take a look at the third clock. Again, our minute hand is the longer hand and it's currently pointing to the six. If I count around, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we're at the half past mark, or 30 minutes after the hour. What hour are we on? Again, our hour hand is in between two numbers. It's not to the seven yet, so it's not seven o'clock. We're still in the six o'clock hour. So this clock is showing 6.30. Let's take a look at our fourth clock. Our minute hand is pointing at the three. Five, 10, 15. So we're at 15 minutes. If we look at the hour hand, it's just past the 10. So we're at the 10 o'clock hour. So this is 10, 15, 15 minutes after 10 o'clock. Now, this also has another special name. When we're on the three, in terms of our minutes, we call this a quarter after the hour. So on this one, at 10, 15, it's a quarter after 10 o'clock or a quarter past 10 o'clock. Take a look at clock number five. I want you to try to figure out what time clock number five says. You can pause the video here to give you a chance to try to figure out the answer. And when you have it, push play again. All right, so if we look at our minute hand, it's at the seven. When we skip count around by fives, five, 10, 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, we're at the 35 minute mark. Our hour hand is between 11 and 12. So we're gonna go with the lower of the two, which is 11. So we're at 11, 35. Let's take a look at clock number six. Why don't you give this one a try? All right, let's see how you did. Now in this case, the minute hand is straight up at the 12, which means that, well, the minutes are zero. We haven't started the hour yet. Our hour hand is pointing to the one. So the time on this clock is right at one o'clock. Now, I'm gonna put up three more clocks. Pause the video here Look at the times on each clock and see if you can figure them out. Once you get your times, unpause the video and we'll go through the answers. Okay, let's see how you did on these. In clock number seven, our minute hand is pointing at the five. When we skip count around, that gives us 25 minutes. The hour hand is between the six and seven, so we're gonna go with the first one, and that would be the six. So the time on this clock is 6.25. On clock number eight, it looks very similar to clock number six. However, the hands have been flipped. So if we start with our minute hand, it's pointing at the one. That would be five minutes. The hour hand is pointing at the 12. So we're gonna go with 12. So it's 12.05. Now don't forget, when you write a single digit in the minutes, you need to put that zero in the front. For our last clock, number nine, our minute hand is pointing at the four. So that would give us 20 minutes when we skip count. Our hour hand is almost at the 12, not even close to the one, so we're gonna go with the 12 o'clock hour. So this clock shows 12, 20. I hope this was a helpful video on reading analog clocks.